guys and happy 3rd of Advent. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I've seen this video going around for a few years now in different mostly family channels and what I wanted to do is like in the spirit of New Year and Christmas and everything I do want to do a pantry and freezer clean out so to say. My fridge is pretty much empty all the time so the, the few things that I have in there are not so relevant for me to film but my freezer and my pantry are overflowing so I do want to kind of use up whatever I have, <coughs> excuse my voice, whatever I have in there before I start um, purchasing more food so uh, I do like to kind of start from scratch when it comes to food and groceries and stuff like that so I do want to work on what I have and use that up so <clears throat> I'm gonna <clears throat> excuse my voice um, I'm gonna invite you into my fridge and into my pantry so we can look at it together and by the end of the year, I think, I'm going to give you an update on how this is going for me. And I will try to use up as much as I can, which means not purchasing food um, outside of the home, not going out to eat and bringing like lunch boxes with me to work and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I will be doing. Um, so. Come with me to my freezer and my pantry. Welcome to my freezer. So as you can see I have three different compartments here and I will see if I can open them for you. So in the first one I have a bunch of bread. So I have some sliced bread here and here. I have some ice cream. Um, these are just frozen ice packs that you can have with you for picnic and stuff like that not actually something I will be doing anytime soon because of the winter time. These are tortilla breads. I do have some ice and then I have a huge tub of ice cream here as well that I've had for a long time so I might need to use that up soon or eat that up. Here we have all of the food items that I sort of use to make food and I have some Christmas bread here that's frozen but aside from that I have a bunch of vegetarian things, so vegetarian meatballs, vegan um, ground meat but vegan, and then we have some sausages, vegetarian sausages, we have some chanterelle mushrooms, we have some green cabbage here, we have some corn bits, and some corn, no these are corn little sausages and I do think that's it in that box a lot of noise and then the last box here is my berries and my greens so I do have a kilo of frozen strawberries we have some raspberries here we have some mixed vegetables we have some frozen corn some frozen uh, different type of beans. We have Brussels sprouts and I also have some pineapple down there. And I think that's it for my freezer. Now this doesn't look like a lot but for me it's way too much. I am one tiny person, I can't eat all of that and I have a bunch of food here to make lunch boxes. Now let me take you to my pantry. So this is my pantry. Now my pantry is actually just a cabinet in my kitchen. I don't have a specific room for the pantry stuff but I think it's overflowing for the, me being one person so this is sort of an overview of what it looks like and I can barely fit anything into it so at the top there you see some coffee and we have some tea in that box there and those are the things that I'm just gonna keep around. We have some cracker, bread crackers. We have some crackers for cheese and digestive 
uh, crackers and stuff like that. So all of this is like a, for a cheese platter and stuff like that. And then on the next shelf here we have some sugar, some uh, flour sugar, we have different types of sugars, oatmeal, we have meat, uh, we have flour, we have vanilla sugar, we have uh, some more tea and behind the tea we have more baking things. This whole container here is filled with baking things. These are saffron bags, this is saffron spice kind of extra thing. So a bunch of baking things so I do really need to start baking a, bit, a little bit more. And then on the next shelf here we have all of my pastas and rice and there is more pasta in there and behind there as well we have some porridge rice and I think behind it we have some black beans, we have some crushed tomatoes, we have an angry puppy that's yelling in the background, we have some red curry sauce base sort of for a, past, uh, for a casserole. We have some white beans in tomato sauce. We have some more baking goods, some semolina flour, and some uh, corn in the background there as well. So a lot of things to use. I think in the background here we have some more of those. And then the last thing here is sort of a kind of goodie drawer slash my spices and stuff like that so we do have some popcorn we have some what is this vanilla sauce and uh, we have some chocolates in the shape of santas and i have some ice cream cones ferrero rocher chocolates some more chocolates gingerbread cookies more crackers for cheese more crackers for cheese some nuts here Almond and here I have I think hazelnuts mostly Then we have This is just uh, a part of a baking machine. We have some two holders for Oil and vinegar and then we have a bunch of Spices here in this container. So as you can see I do have a lot to use up um, doesn't it might not look a lot like a lot to you but to me that's a lot so I do want to use this up before it goes bad and before I start purchasing something new I also have a few things that are not here they are in different cabinets where they are not supposed to be because I don't have any room in here so as I use stuff up I will be moving those things into here so I am able to use these ones up as well Aside from this, I also have like three kilos of potatoes. I have like two or three kilos of uh, mandarin orange, mandarin oranges. So I do have a lot of food to use up, and I will give you an update on how this is going for me. So keep your fingers crossed that this goes well. Okay, so it is the 15th of December and the 3rd of Advent, so my candles are lit, but you're not able to see all of them uh, right now. So we are going to open my Christmas calendars, Advent calendars here. So I'm just going to try to find number 15 because apparently I'm no good at this. So yes, here is number 15. And in that one we have a mini Kinder Bueno. Yay, I'm gonna enjoy that later. And now for the big one here. I'm gonna just first of all try to find number 15. Where, if you can see it, you would probably not tell me anyhow because it's a lot more fun for you to look at me kind of looking around but I found it number 15 is down here and it looks like this big and delicate tessens whatever this is what it looks like and it says in 2016 Hillary Clinton became the first female candidate for a major party to run for president of the United States and in her box we find uh, Eau de Toilette White Musk Flora, so it is a perfume, um, really nice, um, 
I've never tried a perfume from the body shop, so this will be interesting to try. Um, but really nice to get. I will not be opening it because I do have a few perfumes going on. And later this evening I will film my next video because I don't have time to do that tomorrow, unfortunately. So I do want to still give you two videos in uh, upcoming two days. So I think I'm just gonna film another one this evening. So for that reason... Uh, you will probably see the same makeup because I don't have time to redo it, but Nevertheless, this is really fun uh, Nice to get a perfume always nice to have chocolates and that was it for this video uh, as, And as I said with the pantry project slash clean out whatever um, I do want to make the best that I can with the food that I have so it doesn't go to waste. I think it's really important in a time of the year or all, all year round but especially this time of the year I do kind of give a lot of thought to people that are not able to get food, uh, people that don't have any housing and mostly I do give a lot of thought to animals um, Animals that are being abused, animals that are being extinct, animals that are living in really, really poor conditions, animals, animals that are hungry, animals that are in shelters, that don't have a loving home. So, I mean, it just, I, I could start crying right now thinking about that because I have two babies and they are my whole world and I just cannot imagine anybody being cruel to animals. Um, for that reason, some of my Christmas gifts are uh, actually just a gift certificate where I donated money to different animal organizations, both local and global. Um, not that much money, but as much as I could have for the time being. Um, I think that anything is better than nothing, so um, I just, I love animals and it is... Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna cry, <laughs> so this video is not supposed to be sad, but just be mindful of the fact that not everybody is having a great Christmas and, and I know there are many people that care about children and there are many people that care about other people, so they are doing their best to kind of do something good for them throughout the Christmas season, but there are also so many animals that I wish that I had the money and the space to give a home to because I just it hurts me a lot to see animals being mistreated um, so uh, for that reason please be mindful and I encourage you all to if you are able to sort of look over what you have at home and try to use what you have before purchasing something new and I am in no way perfect so I am going to be trying to be better at that throughout the upcoming year as well but nevertheless this was not supposed to be a sad video but I just wanted to kind of explain what I was thinking when I'm starting this sort of pantry clean out thing and uh, thank you so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and make sure to subscribe if you already haven't. I would love to have you here more often uh, and have a great night, evening, day, morning, whatever it is, wherever you are. Bye bye.